Uh, I think I was wrong about sports card shows as we head into 2023. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back. Another day, another sports card video. Today we are gonna talk about sports card shows. I think that I kind of missed on this as I go back kind of towards the end of 2022. Actually kind of like September, August, August, September timeframe. I was thinking, man, I just don't think that a lot of these shows are gonna hold up. <laughs> nationwide, especially as we move into 2023, just the economic climate, some uncertainty, but I was wrong there, I think. But before I dive into the full video, big thanks to video sponsor ComC.com, your home for buying, selling, and flipping all the hottest trading cards. Their consignment marketplace now home to, can you believe it, 30 million trading cards from baseball superstars like Aaron Judge to Marvel favorites like Spider-Man. ComC has something for every type of collector. Visit ComC.com today to build out your collection with your favorite cards. Guys, check it out. If you haven't checked out ComC.com yet, it's a fun buying and selling platform. Check it out. All right, so we just had the Dallas Card Show over this past weekend or the weekend prior, and I watched some vlogs on this, and I was just listening to people that were at this show, and both uh, Mer World Cards, Merlin, one of my hobby friends, and then also Kenny Fornos, they had put out videos on this, as well as other people. I just listened, talking to that Dallas show, and the word on the street w was that it was a busy show, and transactions were happening. And so it wasn't as if just, you know, there's a lot of foot traffic, but no one's really doing a whole lot. Everyone's just trying to sell out of cards, trade out of cards. I do think that these, you know, these big shows and not even just big shows, regional shows are a good place for people that maybe they are looking to sell online and they're like, you know what? There's a lot of fees associated. I can just bring my case down to the card show, over to the card show and see what I can do selling. But then also maybe there's other cards that I can trade into and kind of wheel and deal a little bit in person as opposed to clicking like make best offer, then make another best offer, then wait 24 hours. I think that people kind of like that wheeling and dealing of in-person card shows, and I'm I'm one of them. I like to you know to get out and talk to dealers, hear a little bit about what's going on, just learn more about them and their business and how they're doing things. And so I totally get the show experience. And really, for the most part, especially if a show is within driving distance, there's not a huge cost to get in. A lot of times, kids get in free. I go to my local show here in Raleigh, and my son is huge into Pokemon cards. I don't have to pay for him. I pay five dollars a day to get in. So. So it's a you know it's a Saturday afternoon and there's not a huge cost to it and I can go peruse and check out cards and then talk about it on the channel you know so I completely get why shows are popular I guess where I'm a little bit surprised as we head into this season and I guess we'll have to see how the year kind of moves along is just how busy these shows are and also for vendors too with vendors continuing on you know and paying the pay me, paying the premiums to then be there to exhibit and to sell I talked a lot about how dealers have got to adjust pricing as far as like, hey, look, if you're serious about selling cards, we're not in 2021 anymore. You know, there's got to be some sort of a give on, on some of the stuff and maybe just take some losses where needed. And it sounds to me like there's a lot of that happening. So the Dallas Card Show, very busy from what it sounded like. We've got the Burbank Show that's coming up on Super Bowl weekend. That was a show that came out, what was the first one, maybe six months ago? I might be missing the date on that, but ended up being an overwhelming success to where this time around they had to get into a much larger space, which to me makes sense because Los Angeles is really a massive card hub. There's so many high-end collectors there and then high-end and low-end. I mean, Los Angeles is just a big place in general, but it's a cool destination place for those that maybe want to exhibit at a cool show. Burbank is a big card hub. It might be the largest card shop in the country in terms of volume of cards. I think it probably is. You know, so that Burbank show is coming up. The Philly card show, which I might be going to with, with Flipping Steve in March, just to kind of peruse and check it out. I've never been to the Philly card show and I'd like to go and, and just kind of see what it's about. I heard it's a it's a great vintage show and just to kind of get an idea of what's there, maybe meet some of the dealers. Not I'm not I'm on a little bit of a buying hiatus here uh, until the summertime, but it would be good to check it out and see what's going on. And then 
Chantilly. Oh, we also have Culture Collision in Atlanta. I'm not going to make that one, but Culture Collision, another cool show, variety of different collectibles there. And then you've got um, Chantilly that's going to be at the end of June. I plan to be at Chantilly because it's driving distance. And again, uh, probably meet up with Flip and Steve over there. And then also the National coming up at the end of July. I think that summertime for me is going to be, you know, it's always pretty good buying season for cards anyway. The summer it slows down for sports. And so that's probably where I'll look to kind of get back in in a, in a higher degree than, than where I am now. So um, card shows, again, I thought that it was going to kind of slow, slow down here as we move into this year. And, and also because I heard that shows kind of fourth quarter were slowing down quite a bit, but maybe that was just holidays, you know, People are just kind of gearing up for holiday spending, spending less at card shows, etc. And maybe 2023 is going to be a booming card show market. Guys, let me know if you're going to any local shows, regional shows, also just your experiences. Are you buying, selling? Are you seeing dealers really kind of wheeling, dealing, making deals? Are you able to trade in cards and get good value for them? Let me know all about your current show experience. Guys, stay healthy, stay awesome. And I will talk to you again later.